Jane Ingram is my grandmother. The super cool thing about her is she had all of these stories surrounding her life and how she broke into industries and how she broke into kind of a very um, anti-women leadership industry. Growing up, watching her and seeing that, you, you hear all these stories, you're like, oh, that's just a part of her life. And then I started doing some digging just out of being curious and finding out a lot of her stories were true and the strides that she made, not only in her industry, but also having reforms happen in the prison system in Virginia. I just felt compelled to be like, man, people see the front of what you do, just like athletes, right? People see the talent that you display and they don't often see all the behind the scenes that has to go in it, the barriers that you have to break, what you have to overcome. So what did she teach you? What did what you learned teach you about her? Two things, actually. One, you have to be relentless in your idea for yourself, right? Everybody's not going to be on that train with you. <laughs> and most of the time, nobody's going to get on the train until you're way down the field and you've proven that you can do it. So you have to be relentless about it. And then I think, too, you have to have something bigger than yourself to hang your passion on because the impact comes from like the people that you touch and I think so often we get confused about hey the talent and the shine is for me and I think it's an extension of you but it really is the impact that you're able to make with it and sometimes that just happens by you just being relentless about your passion I think those two things like being relentless and then keeping in mind the impact that you're making on others that's the important part are two lessons that I learned from her, many lessons wow. that she passed out.